and welcome. My name's Kathy A. And today we're going to do a special show again um, with the history and everything else about a brand that really means a lot to me. Uh, for many years, um, Avon was uh, used to come into my family. We used to get perfumes and colognes and things. My mom used to get them every now and then. And uh, as a, a young adult, I used to order once in a while. But I love looking through all their catalogs and things. I mean, they just have such a variety of stuff, and it's a lot of fun. But um, I thought I'd first give you a little bit of the history on the company, and then I'd do a face tutorial, take you back in time so that you could see um, what I look like before this. And it's kind of a nice, natural look. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The makeup uh, was high quality, but I kind of knew that because some of these products I, I have been using all along. And uh, it's just a, a really nice brand, and I just thought I'd do a full face, all Avon stuff, so you could see um, that you could do this, and it's fairly inexpensive as well. So, uh, but first, let's do the history, and I'll be right back with you, and then we'll go back in time and do a tutorial with the makeup. In the 1880s, very few women worked outside the home. With extreme housework, farm and garden chores, they rarely got out to town to shop. So many companies hired door-to-door -door salesmen to sell to housewives in rural areas. Hard-working housewives enjoyed the short diversion of a sales call, especially if the item was a personal hygiene or vanity product. In 1886, New York door-to-door -door book salesman David H. McConnell became the very unlikely first Avon lady. Women often refused to open their door when he came carrying books up their walk, so he had the ingenious idea to offer them a small bottle of perfume, his own homemade, if they would look at his books. This was known as his little door opener. This was a single floral scent, such as rose or hyacinth. Soon realizing that the customers were far more interested in the free perfume than the books, David decided to sell perfumes. He went to California to seek resources for flowers and herbs and became partners with an, a plantation owner there. They called the business the California Perfume Company. From traveling all around New England, David had met a lady in New Hampshire whom he thought would make an excellent sales agent for the perfume. Women just naturally got along well. Mrs. Persis Albee was a 50-year-old mother of two who loved the idea of making extra money for the family. She sold perfumes and sets, called little dot sets, all around New England, taking horse and buggies and trains. With Mrs. Albee and other ladies selling his perfumes, David decided to take a trip in the 1930s to Stratford-upon-Avon in England. He was a huge Shakespeare fan, and see, well, he was a bookseller, and he decided that it was such a beautiful place, he would rename the company Avon Products after the Stratford-upon-Avon that he loved so much, and Hathaway's Cottage appears in the first Avon logo. With new resources and alliances, David built a perfume empire. During the golden age of Hollywood, more soaps and lotions were added to the perfume inventory. Avon was endorsed by many celebrities, such as Rosalind Russell, Loretta Young, Claudette Colbert, and Helen Hayes. While Avon was fast becoming the company for women, men's products were added in the 1950s, and Jimmy Stewart, as well as Jolton Joe DiMaggio, helped endorse the men's product line. In the 1950s and 60s, Avon was launched in new countries such as the UK, and they added cosmetics to their catalog, and soon jewelry joined their product line. In the 1970s, Avon got a little bit more hip with their hairstyles and they actually started to recognize different races and started to gear makeup campaigns towards different ethnic varieties. Also in the 1980s, Avon added fashion to their catalog 
and started it off with Diane von Furstenberg's line made just for them called The Color Authority. We also saw such celebrity endorsements as Billy Dee Williams, Catherine Deneuve, and Cher with her uninhibited perfume. In 1989, Avon became the first of the large cosmetic companies to stop animal testing. And they did some breakthrough uh, events and planning for charities for breast cancer research and awareness. And they had their Walk for Life, which actually is still carried on to this day, as well as many other uh, cancer awareness activities that bring money to research labs. They also uh, are committed to helping charities that help victims of domestic abuse. Avon is partnered with other companies such as Giorgio Beverly Hills and Perry Ellis and Christian Lacroix and Oscar De La Renta. They also have new celebrity faces such as Salma Hayek, Zoe Zaldana, Ashley Green and Reese Witherspoon and of course Derek Jeter. But more famous probably now is Fergie whose 2010 release of Outspoken was their biggest and most successful launch ever. Avon is now sold in over 140 countries and continue to empower women around the globe. Thank you, David McConnell, for your vision and your creativity. Well, now that we're all educated about Avon, <laughs> Let's do a full face tutorial, but I'm going to take you back in time to before I got my Avon stuff. So we'll just take you back and with the magic of video, show you what I look like when I started off. Oh, I am just too clever, aren't I? <laughs> okay, we're opening up here with the eyeshadow primer in light beige. It's a very creamy whipped uh, eye primer goes on really nicely. I really like it. Kind of speeded up the motion here so things can go on a little bit uh, faster. Here is the Magix Face Perfector Primer. I shake everything up just in case. Oops, poured just a little too much out. For a primer, you really, oh, 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 it's magic. Yeah, I was doing the little dance. Okay. I did pour a little bit too much out and uh, trying to use it all, trying to see what the smell is like. There is a little bit of an SPF smell to it, but it's not bad. Like some of them do smell like suntan lotion. This one's not too bad. All right. Oh, got to show off my nails. This is the Cosmic Nail Enamel, and there's a whole series of these. They have a light, shimmery sparkle in them. It's a very fine shimmer dust. It's hard for the camera to pick it up. And this is the Ideal Flawless BB Cream. I This is my second tube of it. I really like this very much. Uh, this is the color in light medium. I tried the light and it was just a little too light. It was a little pasty. Now this goes on very wet and slightly shiny, greasy, which is ideal for all of us who have really dry skin. If you have kind of combination or oily skin, I would not recommend this. But if you have dry skin, you are going to love it. Now I never put a BB cream on without setting it with some kind of powder. And of course my order came in and several items were missing and one of them was powder. So I'm just checking uh, in the mirror, just checking around the edges of my hairline and checking around my nose and eyes, make sure everything's okay. I'm just going to sneak in some Rimmel uh, Stay Matte Powder because um, the Avon powder didn't come in my order. Now here's the Glow Bronzing Pearls in number 202 Bronzed. And I didn't get a blush in my order either, so I'm going to use the bronzer as my blush. So I'm putting it up a little higher than I normally would put a bronzer. Putting it on the edges, underneath my chin. Oh, I love this 2.5 uh, speed up. Now we're doing the brows. This is the Avon Perfect Eyebrow Kit in blonde. One side is a wax, the other side is a powder. So I'm putting the wax on first, and then I'm going into the powder and trying to fill in. 
I'm very distracted looking over because I have a large sliding glass door and right outside I have bird seed and there's a million birds that keep coming to feed. I'm using the three eyeshadows now. These are individually sold. This is the True Color eyeshadow in Champagne. It's a really nice light silky color. I'm using that for the base. Now the light beige um, base worked very well and I actually don't need to put anything up under my eyebrows because the light beige uh, took care of that. The next color is uh, the True Color eyeshadow in beige. I'm just going to use the little applicator that comes with the color to show you that I can. Keep looking over at those birds. There was a woodpecker and some cardinals and some titmice and some um, doves. I mean it was quite a combination. The birds are quite hungry. And I'm just doing just above the crease line with this color. I'm not going all the way up to the brow bone and I'm not going on the lid at all and I'm just kind of smoothing it out with my fingers yeah I'm saying that the uh, the eye primer is really grabbing hold of the color you could especially feel it with this dark uh, brownish color this is brown black in that same um, true color line these are individual ones they were on sale for $2.99 each now I'm just blending it out and I think that's my IT Cosmetics uh, blending brush putting my finger up so it doesn't get too far below the eye line. Well, this is going very quickly. I wish this could happen like this in real life. Now I want a transition color. I usually use my blush for that and since I don't have a blush I'm going to use the bronzing pearls which was very awkward because these are these round pearls I'm trying to get them on my finger. I'm just making a little bit of an edge to um, transition between the dark above the crease and the light underneath the brow. So it doesn't look too bad. Okay, this is a set that came out um, when the Twilight movies were really big. It was the mini glimmer stick set. And I'm just demonstrating what each color is. See, this is why I tell myself to smile stupidly in videos. Because I look really like I, I don't know, like I have a mouthful of something I don't like. Okay, so that's the three of them. But that's not what I'm going to use on my eyes. This is called Midnight Blue, and it's a glimmer stick, the uh, waterproof glimmer stick. I'm going to use this one. And I'm drawing a smile face because it is waterproof. I am changing my makeup mirror around to the big side so I can see close up. I'm just um, smoothing it out with my fingers. Forgot my little uh, cotton buds, or Q-tips as we call them here in the U.S. And I'm just smoothing in that color. I like to use a uh, blue or a gray or a brown eyeliner. Now I am uh, torturing myself with this eye curler. It's, it's a travel curler, but it's actually my favorite. Now the Avon Mega Effects Mascara. This is the one that looks like the paintbrush. It's my second one. It looks like I'm painting the fence. Yep, okay. It bends, so I'm using the little bendy part on the bottom lashes. Now this really gives you big honking lashes, but because of the way the little tines are on the comb on it, um, it keeps them separate so they don't get too clumpy. So here I go in fast motion trying to make a couple of layers. I'll go back and forth and make a nice layer here. I think it takes about two to three coats to get a really big honkin' lash, but after the first coat, most people would be happy. I'm picky. Now we're looking at lipsticks, and of course my lip liner didn't come in the order. Um, I think it's called Color Precise. I got it so long ago, and I still love it. It was in rose gold, and I'm not sure if they discontinued it or not. It's really hard to tell with Avon because they're always changing their packaging, but I really love this color. And it's in a squared off uh, holder. And it's got a minus 0.5 font, so I can't read all the details. And I'm showing you how it turns up and that it's squared. And I love looking through these catalogs. There's just so much. Look at there's clothes, there's underwear, there's some kids' stuff. Um, 
Yep. Kitty shoes. And then there's household stuff, canisters, jewelry, watches. Wait, that's workout gear and workout shoes. And there's a whole outfit, including the handbag, the shoes, the top, the jeans, everything. And there's a second outfit. There's some of the ugly jewelry. I guess there is makeup in here, but it's more towards the front. There we go. There's the men's stuff. Ooh, Eric Jeter. Hot, hot. And here's the perfumes. And what they've started to do, thank goodness, is they have little spots on the pages where if you rub the spot, like I'm doing, you can kind of do a scratch and sniff sort of thing. Since they did make their money from the, there I go again, scratching and sniffing. Um, that didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> um, and now they've got a page here for um, if whatever your age is, the best products for you in that particular line. They've got about 12 different lines. And then across by age again, the different products in the regular line. And there's all kinds of face firming creams and lifting creams and they have shampoos and we're getting into the makeup now and I'm showing you the BB cream that I'm wearing which I really love and I think it is very glowing it stays on for quite a while too and here's some more makeup and stuff they've got a lot of different types of makeup but I think the ideal flawless and the ideal flawless BB cream oh there's a holder for your makeup and there's some new baked eyeshadows that are coming out and their lipsticks and they have great specials buy one get one for 99 cents and funky nail stuff and now they're coming out with the crayons the big oversized chunky sticks and the glimmer sticks and I'm showing you all the colors over here that they come in there's a million of them and I think they are my favorite eyeliners of all time and here's the mega lash mascara that I put on so the catalog is neat. That's the main catalog. And um, there's well, there's some eyeshadows and stuff. They've got some new quads out. Yep, and some healing balm, lip balm stuff. So, oops, now I'm showing you all the shampoo and the skin stuff and the skin so soft. And there's teen acne stuff, foot stuff. Oh, there's some more of the bad jewelry. Okay, now my Avon lady gave me a bunch of books. And this is another one. I like the dress on the back. And then there's some stuff that's on sale, some lotions and creams. And here's another book. They are all they call them campaigns. And here's a bunch of them. There's the men's stuff on sale. And some more jewelry sets. They have lots of earrings and matching necklaces. And here's the outlet, which has all the sales stuff, a lot of stuff from Halloween and Christmas, uh, things they're discontinuing or changing the packaging on. I get a lot of stuff from the outlets. They also have a lot of kitchen stuff and Tupperware. And there's office supplies here and a clock. And there's a some kind of a pen knife. And here's some bad clothing for kids and there's a drum kit I need a little bit of everything in there and there's some shoes and a coat the handbags so that's fun So there you have it. This is my natural Avon look and I really enjoy it. I love these eyeshadows. Um, it's really a, a great line. I think I've got a great combination. This is a total surprise because it is so nice. It stays all day. It doesn't dry patchy and it's called Flawless BB Cream, Ideal Flawless BB Cream. And I think it's like five or six bucks right now on sale. And uh, this is a medium light. This is the medium light. The light was a little too light and this one is just about right so I thought it was great um, and the uh, face primer felt like silk on my skin. Really really nice. I do like this primer a lot. I really love the um, beige 
eye base. It feels like a whipped mousse. It's very, very soft and uh, it blends right in, but it does cover imperfections. It's a really great eye base. So it, and my, I felt when I was putting the shadow on, which by the way, feels very, very silky. And there's a, a really nice, uh, there we go. Let me just put a little more on here. <laughs> it feels very silky. I mean, it's just unbelievably silky. And it just clung to this uh, eye base really well. And I especially saw it with this darker shade. And uh, these single shadows were outstanding and they were on sale, I think for like three bucks. So, I mean, you can make it a little bit more dramatic by adding a little bit more darker here or going up in the crease with the dark a little bit more. But uh, I just thought for a general day look, it was just a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous combination of colors. Now this uh, light shimmer I like to have just on the inside. And of course, you can make it a little more dramatic by adding another layer in. But I mean, these, these eyeshadows were great. Um, these glimmer sticks are just an outstanding um, buy. I think they're very famous because they're so good. <laughs> anyway, I really like that. And you know, trying other colors besides, don't use black. I mean, everybody just gets a black eyeliner and thinks that's, that's good because it'll show up. But actually, you know, if you get a more subtle color, like a blue or a gray, you might find that it works so much better. And I also like to use um, brown eyeliners as well. And I use shadow as eyeliners often. So um, you could actually very easily use this for your, your eyeliner as well and then bring the look in and there's a little less in there. But I just thought since I'm wearing all my, my blues today, um, I would just go for um, kind of a bluish look. This is my second mascara. And I, I just love this. It's so much fun to play with with a little paint brush. Um, and it does give you, with the second coat, you get a nice big honking lash. It lasts all day. It doesn't leave flecks on your eyelids. And it uh, separates the lashes really nicely. And it's easy to do your lower lashes with it. I really like it. And it's a novel shape, of course. This lipstick is marvelous stuff. It's diamond shaped and when you put it on, it's just very creamy and it lasts all day. Well, not really, it doesn't last all day. I mean, if you have a cup of coffee or something, you, you've got to retouch, but it's just a really nice line in general. And then having all of these books, I mean, you don't just get one Avon book. Usually when they give you your order, you get an Avon book. Well, my lady gives me like five of them and <laughs> I start looking through. When I was selling Mary Kay, I kind of had to have my loyalties in the right spot. And I would not talk about Avon and I would not purchase Avon, but I just can't help it. There's so many products in the Avon line that are so worthwhile and they're inexpensive. Uh, they're fun to try. Uh, the only thing when you're buying from a door-to-door -door person is when you return something, it's really hard because they have to pay the shipping back and um, it actually costs them money to do that way. So um, I'd like to say that if you buy something from an Avon lady, don't return it. Um, Avon is a wonderful brand. I really enjoyed doing this. I wish more of the products had come in. I think that's one of the other bad things about uh, when you order from a door-to-door -door person, an Avon person, there's that risk that things aren't in stock uh, and you wait a week and you get your order and it's missing several things like I didn't have my powder or my concealer. Um, there were a few things, my lip liner didn't come in. So there were a few things that didn't come in that I wanted to use. The blush didn't come in, the, the uh, highlighter didn't come in. <laughs> so, but I think, well, actually maybe we could probably use this as a highlighter. Let me put that in. There we go, see? And actually it makes kind of a nice highlighter. So, you know, you just, you just wing it, wing it. <laughs> So that's my Avon haul and I hope you enjoyed it and um, got your little history lesson there. I kind of like doing the research on some of these brands because you learn a lot about them. I had no idea that all this stuff, but anyway, have a wonderful weekend everybody and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.